I was today years old when I realized that they're called funnel cakes because they're made with an actual funnel. And they're surprisingly easy to make. Just mix together some milk, egg, and vanilla, then add some flour, sugar, baking powder, and cinnamon. Give that all a good whisk and then heat up some oil to 350 degrees. Now you're gonna grab your funnel. I know, it shocked me too. Pour in your batter and make your cake. Hey, Rodo, what should we make for dinner today? Let's make an oven-baked spaghetti. Okay, I can get done with that. Tell me more. So we're gonna do uncooked spaghetti, marinara, onion, garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning or oregano. Oh, yes, that's a great idea. And then cover it with water so that we can obviously cook. Yes, but we have to mix it really well to make sure that the spaghetti noodles don't stick, stick together. together. Yes, and then cover it and then bake it. Yeah, and then halfway through we'll mix it just to make sure it doesn't stick. Okay, I like that idea. And then after that we gotta add a topping. We can't just leave it like this. Uh, mozzarella cheese, hello. Yes, okay, I'm, I'm so for this. Buffalo chicken taquitos. These are a hit at any party and they only take four ingredients to make. Just get a rotisserie chicken, shred it up and add it to a bowl with one and a half cups of buffalo sauce. You can use homemade or store bought. And then season with whatever you'd like. I'm using garlic powder, smoked paprika and sesame. Mix it together and then fold in four cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. Then get some corn tortillas and add them to a plate and cover and cook in the microwave for at least 30 seconds. This will prevent them from crumbling when you roll them. Add your filling to one half and then roll it up nice and firm and seal with a toothpick. Then deep fry on medium heat until golden brown and let them rest on a cooling rack. Remove the toothpicks and serve with a side of blue cheese or ranch dressing. to make the best crispy shrimp ball. 
Mm-hmm. This dish is so addicting and I'm sure you'll want more than one. First, you're going to go ahead and mince your shrimp, add in your seasoning sauces and seasoning ingredients, add some cornstarch, give it a nice mix. And now you're going to get some wonton wrappers, cut them into ribbons. You should get something like this. Get a golf ball sized shrimp ball, coat it in the ribbons and fry until a beautiful crispy golden brown. And you can eat this the way it is or serve with a sweet chili sauce of your choice and enjoy.